So we're just making these cranberry filled crescent rolls. Just using a canned cranberry sauce. We just spread it on there and roll it up. Like so. Okay. So there's only eight of these, so we're just gonna do four of the cranberry jellies. And then the other four are gonna be more savory. So we're going to do a rosemary and butter or something. We decided not to use the butter because they're already buttery. So we're just gonna put some fresh rosemary on here and then just gonna like tear it a little bit and sprinkle it on there. So we're gonna put a little bit of coconut sugar on top of these, just for garnish. Okay, so now we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees and probably let them cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's go. Okay, so the next recipe that we're gonna make is vegan cornbread dressing. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm, we're gonna make our cornbread. I'm just using a Jiffy Mix, and this is a vegetarian one. So we're gonna substitute the milk and the egg for different things. We're gonna do a third of a cup of applesauce. One third cup of milk. And we're using almond milk, unsweetened. Whisk this up. Your arm is hurting. Good arm workout. And it's nice and creamy like so. Line with a parchment paper. And we're gonna go ahead and fill this up. And I like to get a spatula. So I get every last drop of this in here. Now we're going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's do that. There we go. I think it's probably because it's a thin layer. It's not even at 400. And you can lick it because there's no egg. Mm. It's good, you want some? So now we're making the dressing. First we have to saute the vegetables. So this is just um, one onion and about two sticks of celery. Bit of water, so that's it. Pepper, just a little bit. So we're just gonna cook this until it gets soft and the onions get a little bit browner. You can go ahead and add um, a portobello mushroom here that's diced, or cloves of garlic. And we're just going to cook this until the mushrooms cook down, and then we're on to the next step. So in a bowl, we're going to take eight to nine slices of just 12 grain, vegan bread, no dairy, no eggs. And we're just gonna crumble it in here, tear it up. Crumble it up in there. So now we're going to crumble in our two boxes of cornbread that we made earlier. So they cool down a little bit so it's easier to handle. Just basically throw it in there. So now we're gonna add our mushroom, celery and onion garlic mixture. So we have two cups of vegetable broth uh, that we warmed up in the microwave for a couple minutes. So it's warm and we're gonna add a tablespoon of tahini. Like that. A tablespoon of soy sauce or um, tamari. So we're gonna add some uh, sage that we chopped up, um, fresh thyme. Small sprig of rosemary. So now we're going to pour the broth mixture over the bread. I'm 
we're going to transfer this to a um, baking dish. So let's get that out. So for our candied yams, we're gonna make the sauce to pour over the yams. So for this, you need two tablespoons of butter or margarine. We're using vegan butter, obviously. A cup of brown sugar. So you wanna make sure that the brown sugar is broken down and that there's not any clumps in it, that it's all coated in the butter. Now to this, you're gonna add about a half a cup of water. Then you're going to add about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a dash of nutmeg, and a dash of sea salt. Now once it's all combined, we're going to let this reduce for 10 minutes on medium to low heat. And it should thicken up a little bit. And then we'll show you what's next. So now we're going to make our candied yam. So we boiled some sweet potatoes slash yams. I don't know what the difference is. And I'm just gonna split them between these two baking dishes. Now to the yams, we're going to add in our sauce that we reduced for about 10 minutes. And it's thickened slightly. So we're just gonna add that to the top. Now we're going to bake this at 350 for 20 minutes and halfway through um, we're going to spoon the sauce over the yams and then we're going to take it out and we're going to put the marshmallows on them and the pecans. So after they've been baking for 20 minutes you can add on the walnuts or pecans on top. These, you can crush them up a little bit and add them. These ones are by the brand Dandies, and they're super good. Back in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So the next thing we're making is the best dang vegan mashed potatoes. So, we have it's about like 10 to 12 Yukon like gold potatoes that we cut up and boiled. So we're just gonna pour this in here. So with a potato masher, just go ahead and mash them up. So now we're going to add in our butter, and then we're gonna add in some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and we're just gonna stir this, and it'll get extra creamy. Oh! <laughs> oh no. And we're gonna add a splash of unsweetened almond milk, a quarter of cup of chives, Happy Vegan Thanksgiving! Not chicken. We ain't messing with the chicken. Turkey. <laughs>